more high than uh, large so uh, 32 by 64 is okay and we want the origin toward the feet you'll see when we'll uh, talk about the, the animation in week uh, 3 why it's important for now you just have to uh, trust me on that okay so we have a character and we have a platform but it's not enough to make a platformer if you start the game you will just have a character and trust me if I use my uh, arrow keys nobody nothing moves so uh, you need you need to um, enable some functionality in your object in your game object to do that construct tool has what is called behaviors behaviors are like uh, little um, add-ons you put an object that can modify how uh, some of these property of the object the there ha there is uh, for instance the fade behavior will modify the opacity of the of the object uh, the anchor will modify the position uh, to anchor it uh, uh, according to the window Ubuntu layout will force the object to stay in the layout and uh, it, they all influence these parameters in such a way that for instance you can do a platformer so you will give this sprite a platformer and now I will just shut that down and start to rename because we'll get really lost if we don't keep our naming uh, uh, tidy so ground okay here I will even save uh, C2 clay class game so it's the platformer version 1 ah uh, yeah good uh, good remark uh, Heini I will change that right now it was uh, planned it should be changed now thank you <laughs> thank you uh, very much so yeah uh, now we have uh, an object with the platform behavior uh, I will discuss these uh, these um, parameter uh, later. Now, if we launch the game, what happens? We lose. <laughs> the character just fall through 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 our ground. So it's a problem. <laughs> we can't really uh, play this game. What you want to do? is to give um, this object some uh, property that tells uh, the platform behavior that he can't go through to do that you have a special property a special behavior which is the solid you can note uh, th those are special behavior that don't influence this parameter they add an attribute to the object and for instance the solid is um, seen by many behavior as you can't go through just uh, as simple as that if I launch the game now I am on the ground I can jump I can move the platform behavior gave you all the input um, handling you need to have a simple platformer so now you have a platformer so it's done the course is finished thank you very much goodbye no oh, kidding uh, that's really really the basics of uh, setting up the platform mechanic the platform mechanism in construct but of course uh, you have some setting. Uh, we won't see this setting right now. Um, I think 
uh, I want to talk f now about this uh, snap to grid. It's really important. Uh, I don't know if you've seen, but I'm moving my objects uh, around, trying to place them correctly uh, on the on the layout. Just use the snap to grid because uh, you will get the precision you need thanks to the option. But you notice it's kind of hard to uh, to get to the to the the boundary of the of the game. Usually, for platform, you want to put the this origin at top left. It's uh, easier to hand to handle. So yeah, this uh, specific um, option in the image editor tells um, when you have an object and you give it a position, what part of this object is in this position. An object isn't a point, it's not a position by itself, it's a big uh, thing. So what is the reference point for position? It is what the origin gives you here. The position you have here is the position of the origin of the object. Okay, so for the character I put the origin at the bottom and for the, the, um, the ground at top left just to be able to precisely position it on the grid. Alright, um, so we have our platformer now you may notice that uh, I'm using simple form, simple shape. And I will be using simple shapes at least until week three. It will look as simple as uh, these until week three. Ah, the grid is uh, here. You get on the ribbon, uh, by default maybe the ribbon is even like that and you can uh, make it uh, stay by uh, I think you can just double click yeah, or uh, just uh, click on this uh, button and in the view tab you have the snap to grid you can activate and the show grid you can show the grid and I think it's uh, it appears one or two versions ago uh, beta versions you need the the we will work with beta versions for all this course for now it's the r124 uh, and uh, if uh, another beta version ap appear until the the end of the of the course we will use it because my steam uh, <laughs> will update it so even if i don't want to <laughs> well i could change the the parameters for that. Anyway, um, so yeah, we have our platform. So now we'll start to lay out a little level. And to do that, you notice that uh, I'm I was able to duplicate my uh, my uh, my elements. And to duplicate uh, elements, you just have to hold Control while an, uh, an object is, is uh, selected, you hold control and you, you click and drag control, click, drag, control, click, drag ok so um, uh, just to um, to warn you, I won't uh, read too much of the of the chat. Uh, if uh, any question uh, is uh, important, uh, uh, Kiat will uh, will pass them to me. Uh, I s uh, since I have the chat on the on the side, I'll, I pick sometimes, but I will try to not pick too much because I will lose my concentration. So um, yeah, I will start to lay out a, a simple simple level. Uh, yeah, 
uh, little platform here and we'll go a bit higher okay and then we will have to jump here and smaller smaller and then mm, go back to the ground here so let's see if I start the game here uh, tuk, 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 uh, where are you here okay take uh, oh good <laughs> I can't for where I'm where am I oh no there's the game isn't scrolling to be able to scroll there's uh, many way and you, you will uh, hear me say that uh, very often there's many way to do the same thing for now the simple way is to add another behavior that will tell the game to always focus to always scroll on the object you put the behavior on so uh, it's the scroll to behavior if I put the scroll to behavior on the object and I run the game now you have a platformer yeah I can't go ah. that's another uh, use of the grid once you know roughly uh, the height of your jump you can more or less try to f to uh, to see how many cells you can jump you can jump here you can maybe jump here yep but you probably can't jump higher so you know you can jump three cells and you can lay out uh, a level very very easily so that's another use of the oh I'm, I fell of the grid Up. yay I reached the end okay everything is uh, is clear until now I didn't lose anyone I'm waiting 10 seconds <laughs> that's the lag um, I can get the project to run keeps telling me that I can't load the default brother uh -huh. you can't load the default brother uh, you can change the default brother if uh, if construct if your construct doesn't detect your default brother you can change it here in preview brother browser browser um, okay so for now what we have we have a simple platform prototype in which we can't die in which uh, we can't uh, really uh, finish we can't really go to another level so we'll uh, we'll see how to implement that now um, okay so first uh, how to die we'll start with a sad thing how to die for now, the only way we can die in our game is to fall here. So we will start using the event sheet to tell the game that when we are underneath the layout, we are dead. But before doing that, I will explain a bit how the event sheet works. In a game, in a, not only a game, in every, every, every uh, software you run on the computer, every software that can know when you click, that can know when you type, 
the the IRT, IRC channel, everything that you can interact with runs what it's called a loop.